Hey toy fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing and this time it is for Zesray Studios Combatants Fight for Glory. And this is the Branthok, the Devilfish. Um, pretty cool looking giant, giant of a man, um, gladiator on the side. He's got the glamour shot, that's not too bad. On the back, he's got another shot, him with, the, with his accessories which look pretty awesome. Um, on the one side, um, like I, like I read in the last uh, in the the last um, video, I think it's the same, right? Um, yeah, there's some there's some some gladiator fights going on and some monsters that are uh, locked underneath the arena. So there is some supernatural stuff or monsters um, that will be coming in in the um, in future waves. So on the back. Got a pretty sweet pick, and then we got his bio, which says Bronthok, nicknamed a devilfish, ethnic Germanic, city Pompeii, group Marcellius. So he's from a different, um, he's from a different. What is it, Ludus? Than the other, the other one. The other one was Aquilinus. So that was uh, Medicus, the Reaper. So Bronthok, the devilfish. <coughs> let's pick, let's pick you back up. Uh, Bronthok lost control of his life due to addiction to gambling when he could not afford a large debt. He found the Lanista Marcellius. It was well known that the Nordics were good at fishing and their, at fishing and therefore he became uh, Rieteris, re whatever that is. After some training, the arena became his hunting ground where he was like a top predator killing his prey. People called him the Devilfish because the net in his hand was just like the claws of a devilfish. Bronthok liked drinking and gambling. He was strong, irritable, and good at fighting, especially good at wrestling. And he was not uh, as dependent on the nets as other reiterists were because he could pull out his dagger to stab or have a hand-to-hand -hand fight. Although his combat skills were excellent, he still had not defeated the Pompeii champion, Victor, yet. Man, Victor's just taking everybody uh, down, I guess. Then can, uh, chance came. All the uh, the best gladiators arrived in Rome City. Out of expectation, he spotted his daughter Hildur there, who was dressed as a gladiator. A gladiatrix. So cool. Um, maybe his daughter's in a future wave. I do not know, but he looks pretty cool. Looks like a giant uh, bald guy, and he's got a spear and a net. Um, and that's such a uh, interesting weapon for like the gladiators it's just like capture them and then um stab them <laughs> you know that's a it's a dirty pool but what are you gonna do right um let's see pull these accessories off put that aside for now and got the same little note saying uh if you realize the joints are t aren't moving heat them up so let's move that to the side very nice packaging it's kind of slid right off um figure coming coming out and he's got a dagger um it feels really hollow a little sh a little sharp to the touch kind of feels like not uh like you could break this thing it's kind of kind of I don't know. I, I can feel it already. Just you, you grab some toys and you feel like that. It's not going to bend. It's just going to break if you apply any pressure to it. So, um, let's see. One arm. Uh, his arms. His, like the legs. The legs on these guys are bend fairly nice. Um, uh, he's got a. It's actually double jointed, but feels like only half of it is going. So. Maybe you have to heat that up, just like it said. I do like the uh, the shins. They look awesome. It's got a sweet-looking belt. Um, some leather straps. Look at that. Look at that uh, That shoulder, that pauldrons. It's pretty cool. Um, it's got a bracer. Dude, dude looks awesome. Like, looks like he's, he's got a little... Uh, a little mascara on or something <coughs> or or war paint 
It's got a little bit of a dirtier look than uh, the Reaper had. Um, it's got this dagger, which, you know, like I said, I don't think I'm going to fight this dagger in. I'm just going to sheath it because he's got a really cool dagger sheath on the back that's just, there it goes. And it fit in there really nice, real snug fit. That's not going anywhere. Um, he's got blue loincloth, some, some, some torso, some torso action that's going on there. And cool let's pop open I don't want to break it because if it's the same feeling as the dagger didn't feel that sturdy I don't know it could be very sturdy I just I'm just not gonna gamble with it the figures are fairly expensive so don't want to break it if I don't have to um, so He's got his net on his uh, on his on his trident spear. Now just to get it off, huh? Let's see, there we go. Okay, so that's pretty cool. There's there's a good. Uh, it's not just a, a flat like colored piece of plastic. That is a painted accessory weapon that has some fairly sharp edges on it, so it's not too bad. Um, let's see. And looks like in the picture, he's holding this with his, uh, what do you call it? Get this in there. Don't want to break it, but. Just want to. There we go. One finger. All you gotta do is get it past that thumb <laughs> without breaking. There he is. Slides right in. Uh, but very strong. So this guy, um, you know, the the trident or the spear is not really my favorite weapon, but it looks awesome um, with him. This is a very cool cool weapon um now he's got a net and let's see how do they how do they have it held I'm guessing i could just jab it in his hand anyway and hold it and uh, whatever just just hold it a little bit, just for, and I'm sure, I'm sure there's a, a way that I'm supposed to just have him grab it, but that's pretty cool. He just, he's in a, he's in a fight against the old, old Reaper here, and then tosses, <laughs> and, and shanks, right? Like, that's, uh, that's the cut of it. Um, then, then you're the victor right after that, but. Uh, unless you're fighting Victor, because because that guy just wrecks everyone apparently. Um, his his head is a pretty stiff joint. Let's see, his arms are moving. It's just it's just the the elbow joints. They are those suckers need to be uh, heated up. It's like his his legs are moving enough. There's but they're double jointed and it's like one one way is bending but not both. So I mean it's just gonna apply some heat and we'll go from there. But yeah, he's uh. I'm I'm ve I'm very pleased. This is very cool, and I really like the armor. Like uh, that looks cool. Now, let's see. Oh, he stands a little bit better than uh, Reaper did too. Reaper's weapons just kind of fall in, but doesn't have a helmet. But whatever. Let's uh, let's see what he looks like next to uh, the Mezco Conan, um, who. Is not that big of a figure apparently, so everything seems to be dwarfed him. I didn't actually think uh, these guys looked that big, but he is very tall. Um, is it both? They're both, yeah, they're both both pretty huge um, in comparison to Conan. Let's see. Let me just grab grab a Hasbro GI Joe. It's one of 
the uh, the twins and yep he is this gladiator is huge um so but it still feels like it's still in the 112 scale it's just a big it's just a big boy um let's see you get one of the marvel legend like bigger guys there's a there's a hydra agent and all right now we're we're getting into the the same scale the hydra agent is, is, is huge and it is it is bigger but it doesn't look as natural as this guy just looks like like he's an, a natural fit in your 112 collections uh size dudes like against this against this conan it's not it's not out of place um conan is just not as big as this big boy um and here so yeah i i dig it um anything else i guess a a mythic legion wouldn't hurt let's just grab let's just grab one of these guys and got the uh the barbarian builder and that is a pretty pretty nice like size comparison for around the same scale except for the accessories look a little bit smaller the mythic legion stuff is a little bit like higher fantasy over the top um but the figure size is pretty similar um like like i always think these guys are a little bit like right in between the masters universe classic um and and normal scale so um yeah i like it and i think they'll look cool fighting your mythic legions monsters if, if that's what you want to do um regardless i like them. the devil fish is cool the reaper is cool i still got one more to open so excited about that uh heat these guys up and then i'll be uh i'll be back later thanks for watching like subscribe leave a comment let me know if you picked up uh, Combatants for Glory from Zesray Studios. I think uh, they look pretty cool. So, see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.